Let's look at an example where x is the number of miles the rear tires will last. And it's been given that the data is normally distributed with a population mean of 36,500 miles and a population standard deviation of 5,000 miles. The question says calculate the probability that a rear tire will not last more than 20,000 miles. This can be written as the probability that x will be less than 20,000. On the graph, this will be represented as the shaded region to the left of 20,000. The population mean 36,500 is indicated in the middle of the graph. And this graph is in terms of x. Therefore, to obtain the probability, we will need to use the standard normal probability distribution. Therefore, this, the normal probability distribution in terms of x will be standardized by calculating a z-score and z is equal to x minus the population mean divided by the population standard deviation. In this case, it will be equivalent to 20,000 minus 36,500 divided by 5,000, and the z-score obtained is minus 3.3. Therefore, on the graph, the z-value is minus 3.3, and the area of interest is to the left of minus 3.3, keeping in mind that z is normally distributed with a mean of 0 and a variance of 1. If we take a look at the z-score table, it can be seen that the last row of the negative values goes from minus 3 and the smallest probability on that row is 0 0.001, which is obtained as the z-values become much smaller. This can be seen to indicate that any value of z that is less than minus 3 will have a probability that is approximately zero. And this keeps in line with the property of outliers. Therefore, the probability that X is less than 20,000 is equal to the probability that Z is less than minus 3.3, and this is approximately zero. What percentage of the tires can be expected to last more than 40,000 miles? This is represented as the probability that x is greater than 40,000. And on the corresponding graph, this is shown as the area shaded to the right of 40,000. Our random variable x is now standardized to obtain the standard normal probability distribution, and we will make use of our z-score formula. For this particular question, our z-score will be 40,000 minus 36,500 divided by 5,000, and the answer is 0 0.7. On our graph, the probability will be the area shaded to the right of 0 0.7. Therefore, the probability that x is greater than 40,000 is equal to the probability that z is greater than 0 0.7, which is equivalent to 1 minus the probability z is less than 0 0.7. Having a look at our normal, our standard normal probability distribution tables, the probability of z less than 0 0.7 will be on the row of z 0 0.7 and the column is 0 0.00 and that probability is 0 0.7580. Therefore, our final answer is 1 minus 0 0.7580, which is 0 0.242. Using our Excel functions, the probability that x is greater than 40,000 is equal to 1 minus the probability of x less than 40,000. And this is equal to 1 minus norm.dist, and in the bracket, it will be 40,000, 36,500, 5,000, 2, and this is equal to 0 0.24196. Calculate the probability that a tire's lifetime is between 20,000 and 40,000 miles. 
the probability statement will be the probability that x is between 20,000 and 40,000. Therefore, the graph will be will indicate the region of interest, or rather the area of interest, which is shaded between 20,000 and 40,000. Similarly, we are going to standardize our random variable using our z-score formula once more. Therefore, our z values to the left of the mean will be 20,000 minus 36,000 500 divided by 5,000 to give the z value to the left of minus 3.3 and the z value to the right will be 40,000 minus 36,500 divided by 5,000 which is equal to 0 0.7. On our standard normal probability distribution graph, this will be indicated as the shaded area between minus 3.3 and 0 0.7. Therefore, the probability that x is between 20,000 and 40,000 is equivalent to the probability that z is between minus 3.3 and 0 0.7. This is the same as the probability that z is less than 0 0.7 minus the probability of z less than minus 3.3. Using our z tables, we're going to obtain the two probabilities. So the probability of z less than 0 0.7 is equivalent to 0 0.7580 and the probability that z is less than minus 3.3 from the table it can be seen that as the z values become smaller on the negative side then the probability goes towards zero therefore our final answer will be approximately 0 0.7580 minus 0, which is equal to 0 0.7580. Using our Excel functions, the probability that x is between 20,000 and 40,000 is the same as the probability of x less than 40,000 minus the probability of x less than 20,000. This is equal to norm.dist and in brackets it will be 40,000 comma 36,500 comma 5,000 comma true minus norm dot dist in bracket 20,000 comma 36,500 comma 5,000 comma true and the answer is 0 0.7576